All right, quick tutorial on um, how to get KOMs on rolling terrain slash how to get KOMs at the end of a segment, how to get multiple KOMs. Anyway, so you can see here, uh, this is the beginning of the segment. I didn't actually start it where I should have done um, because it was a good little hint that if you, normally you'd come from the road, you'd take the right-hand corner and you obviously to go across traffic. I took the left-hand corner probably a little bit faster, maybe. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, we've got to think about all those things when you're going for KOMs, got to think of the best lines, etc., etc. So anyway, the KOM in question is five and a half kilometers long, 2% average gradient with a KOM time of 11 minutes and 58 seconds, which I believe gives an average speed of about 27 kilometers an hour. Uh, so I looked at his average power, it was only 290, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to get this unless he weighs about 50 kilos, and I'm not going to get it. So as long as he didn't weigh 50 kilos, and I checked his weight, and it was all good, so... I was confident I was going to get this. Uh, but there was also a segment at the very end, which I believe was uh, a sort of a two to three minute segment. I think about the KOM is maybe 237, 238, and it averages about 10, 10% gradient, something around that. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Can't remember exactly. But anyway, it's, um, it's a solid climb um, at the end. And the guy, the guy who has the KOM at the end also has the whole segment. Uh, so I wanted to get both. So I wanted to be assured that I would get both. So I decided that I want to do a 10-minute effort because, you know, I haven't done too many 10-minute efforts. And it's a nice duration. I quite enjoy the 10-minute effort. It tends to suit me quite well. I have quite good power for sort of like 10 minutes. Five to, five to 10 minutes is generally where I enjoy uh, hurting myself the most. But anyway, as you can already see, the gradient uh, is very variable on this climb. We've got uphills, we've got downhills, we've got flats. Um, so it's pretty important that you don't hold the same power. Now, normally when people are saying how to pace, they're just like figure out how long the climb is and hold the same power the whole time. But obviously that's fine if the gradient is like, you know, plus or minus one or two percent, you know, pretty, pretty uniform gradient. Um, but if you want some gradient changes, obviously it makes sense to go harder um, on the steep parts uh, because there's less air resistance when you're going slower. So uh, it makes more sense to do that than on the fast parts. Because let's say you add 50 watts on the faster parts, you're not going to go that much faster. Let's say you go 2k an hour faster. If you add 50 watts on the steep part, you might go 3k an hour faster, let's say. Something like that. Anyway, so you can see at this moment in time that my watts have dropped quite significantly because we're going downhill. Now, I've never ridden this climb before. Um, well, so this segment, it's not really a climb. It's a, a series of climbs, one could say. Uh, and so I was, you know, a little bit hesitant on the descents. Didn't really want to risk it for a biscuit because I didn't want to crash. Uh, so on these downhills, I wasn't going absolutely mega hard, as you'll be able to see. And you'll be like, oh, mate, you're so bad at cornering. Meh, meh, meh. But it's, uh, it's also just because there was some gravel on the road, etc. And let's be honest, who wants to crash going for a Strava segment? Not me. Uh, so these Strava segments in Thailand, like, I'm not going to lie, there aren't many that are super competitive. Um, so there's like Deutsche Tep, let's say, which is the most popular one, and I'm not going to get the KOM. I'll have to do, you know, 6.2 watts per kilo to 6.5 watts per kilo to get it, more or less, for me, for my, me um, and my power meter. So that's... Uh, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so we can safely say that I'm not going to get the KOM there. Then we've got a couple others. So like Doi Calm's real good actually at the moment. Paul's, uh, Paul Van Zuyl is very close. He's like two seconds off. I'm like seven seconds off, but I don't think I'll be able to get it. Because uh, the only time I can really get it is if I draft off him. Because the draft does help at the end, even though it's a pretty steep climb. And then you've got a couple other ones here or there that are like a little bit competitive. Like Mon Cham actually Paul Van Zuyl has. So, you know, I might have to get, try and get that off him. But a lot of the other ones, I'm not going to lie, are not mega competitive. So you sort of have like real easy ones, real hard ones that you're not going to be able to get. There aren't many in the middle, which is sort of the ones that are mo the most enjoyable to get. Because let's be honest, it's not, I mean, this is fun. Like, I enjoy getting hair hands like this, and it's good training. Uh, but it's not exactly the same as, um, like, absolutely killing yourself and getting hair in by, like, three seconds. That's something that gets really exciting. So you can see the road here is in a, not in great condition. Um, well, the road surface itself is in good condition, actually. I'm not, uh, I can't say anything bad about that, really, for most of this road. Uh, there's just a lot of mud and dirt and debris on the road, uh, which is not great. So anyway, in terms of pacing this, now, I, as I was saying before, I'm not going to pace it evenly. Um, so I looked at the guy's Strava, um, his like power data, just briefly, you know, had a little look at, see if there was any corners, because I, I knew there was a couple of descents, I'm just seeing if he pedaled around them, and there was sort of this decent section in the middle, uh, which is just coming up in probably a couple minutes, where he doesn't pedal at all. And so I thought about that, and I was thinking, well, I'm going to go out real hard, because I looked at his power data, and he went out pretty hard at the beginning, 
then have this sort of section. This is a little bit of a section where you don't really have to pedal because you're going, you know, 49k an hour and you're not going to add that much. And there, you've got some corners coming up with some gravel on it. So, you know, you don't want to crash or anything. Uh, and I couldn't, I just couldn't be bothered to risk it, to be honest. Um, so anyway, I, I then realized that I'm going to go out pretty hard. So I think average maybe 370, 380 for the first couple of minutes. Um, and then I knew my, my average power would be a, a little lower um, because the last part uh, was going to be, well, sorry, there's the, the part in the middle where you don't pedal. Uh, and then I knew the last part was also pretty steep uh, and that I wanted to try and get the KOM there. So the KOM there was a lot more competitive because the guy who was the KOM for the whole thing, uh, Lex Nederhoff, um, he pretty much cruised down this bit, you know, tempo uh, or so for him, I would, I would suggest, and then sort of sprinted the last two minutes. So I, I wanted to try and do a, a nice 10 minutes with a real hard two minutes at the end. Um, so you can see here, we've now got this sort of downhill section. I wasn't really sure like how steep it was, the corners, etc. And you can see here, we got a little bit of bad, uh, a lot of mud on the road. Uh, so I wasn't going to, you know, go crazy um, and just, you know, chill out, have a little rest. So anyway, in terms of pacing, I was like, well, so the first five minutes, they want to be hard, but like comfortably hard. And this might sound rather odd, but like you'll sort of know what I mean, as in the fact that like you're going to be hurting but it's not going to be absolute death it's going to be like mm, this hurts don't really want to do it for that much longer but i'm not dying uh and then that would be good and then the middle bit i you know just try and keep pedal where i can uh keep the speed up so you know on these steep ramps just um when it sort of pitches up a little bit just really trying to sprint up them and keep the average speed up as much as possible um because you know that's that's really where it's quite important to increase your power substantially um, and then at the last part, I just knew I needed to do about 400 watts in order to get the king of the mountain for the last part. There are a couple other segments along the way which I managed to pick up. I think in total I got about 5 KOMs from this effort, uh, which is always nice to have. Uh, you can see we've got a tire bloke here. It was actually not in a great position because I sort of wanted to take that line. Um, but anyway, I had to go on the other side of the road. But it was all fine because there's literally zero traffic here, so it's all, it's all good. And again, you can see here that I'm just surging the watts, trying to keep keep my speed up as much as possible. The road was a little bit slippery, so sometimes my tire would slip at the end, uh, so, so slip at the back, sorry, my rear tire would slip a little bit, but you just have to, you know, put your weight a little bit back and it's all good. Um, it wasn't it wasn't too crazy, to be honest. So you might have noticed so far that on Tuesdays, I tend to do KOMs, and that's just because, you know, it's always good to have a target um, just in order to really push yourself. Like, I went pretty deep on this one. Um, obviously, it's always hard to go super, super deep on this because there are times when you're, like, freewheeling. But the last, you know, the last couple of minutes, I was, I was definitely hurting a lot. Um, so, anyway, Tuesday, I like to do, you know, tempo doi. So, just pace people for, like, between 30... Well, ideally between about 33 and 37. That's, you know, the sort of nice tempo zone for me. Um, but, unfortunately... Fortunately, I got a flat tire, um, which has sort of been the story of my life at this moment in time. Uh, so anyway, you just need to turn left here, actually. I'm just uh, a little bit sketchy here. And then this is coming up towards the last part of the climb where it gets steep. So now going back to my training. So yeah, I like to do KOMs. I just push hard. It's a good VO2 max effort um, for this sort of length of climb. Uh, and then, I don't know, like, let's be honest, everyone likes having a KOM. I mean, it's always a good way, like, if you're going to do an effort and it's going to be max, um, then it's just good to do it on a climb. It also sort of, you know, helps mentally just really pushing to the end uh, and just helps pacing because every single KOM you do, you learn more about yourself, you learn more about your pacing, you learn more about your warm-up, and it's just all good practice. Uh, and anyway, on Wednesday, um, we like to do, me and Paul like to do calm full gas, so I just like hang on to his wheel as long as possible, which last week was about one minute and a half. I was not feeling great, but I'm going to get a good night's sleep tonight uh, because people are filming it tomorrow. So hopefully, you know, that that people filming it will, you know, push me a little bit harder and I'll, I'll really have that motivation to stay because, you know, when I did stay on his wheel, I only lost three seconds and I got a, I got a cracking time. I got four minutes, 50, or three minutes, 50, which I was very happy about. Like, obviously, people are going to say, Oh, you're drafting all this stuff. But anyway, I was I don't really care about them. Uh, it was a good effort and I had my best power ever and it was good laugh staying with Paul. So Paul's only two seconds off of John Epson now, so he should get that hopefully tomorrow. Um but yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. So you I don't know, the K ones they're just good. They really definitely help your training in a slightly different way, and it's obviously very specific, like you're good at max efforts for a short duration of time. But it really does just gain that fitness really quickly, just doing like real short but high intensity stuff. Um, like obviously in a two week road race or like a, a two week stage race or something like that, um, I'd be I'd be just training very differently. I'd be training not necessarily my max power, but being able to do um, repeated sort of climbs like this. Uh, but anyway, I do enjoy these quite a lot. So we're coming towards the end of the climb. 
I know this climb sort of the other side of it because I've got the KOM la two weeks ago, I believe it was, or maybe last week, I can't remember. And then, so I sort of knew what was going and I knew that I really just had to try and hold as, I think I had to average like 18 or 19K an hour up here. So I was really just trying to search the watts. You can see the watts aren't great here because I was sort of having a little rest in between two segments. Um, but I can remember seeing pretty much the finish here and I'm like, right boys, let's go. Uh, and I'd left a little bit in, in the too much in the tank, to be honest. And you can tell that normally if people have left too much in the tank because they'll be able to sprint quite a lot. And you'll see the last part, I was hurting a lot, but like it, you can't hurt that much in the last like 15 seconds to like really replicate how much you could have hurt if you'd suffered for the last three minutes solid, which I should have done up this climb, instead of just suffering a lot on the last 15 seconds, because um, yeah, it's just not the same. But anyway, we're coming up towards the end of the segment. There is the hut on the left, which I believe marks the end of the segment. And uh, that was it, so 5K OMS, which was a good day out for me. I tried to do a tempo doy after this, but my legs were just like, nah, you're all my mate, because I didn't really eat enough. But anyway, cheers for watching, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to follow me on Strava, uh, which I will post in below and all the KOMs will be on this screen afterwards. So see you in the next video.